What is Sark? The Sark came into existence with the signing of the Sark Charter in Dhaka on the 8th of December 1985. The Secretariat of the Sark was set up in Kathmandu on the 17th of January 1987. It is a regional and geopolitical organization. Sark Countries During Sark Foundation, there were seven Sark countries that are mainly located in South Asia, India, Pakistan, Bhutan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Maldives, and Sri Lanka. In April 2007, at the Sark 14th Summit, Afghanistan became its eighth member. Sark is a grouping modeled on the European Union that came into being in the mid-1980, but has little to show for itself by way of regional or economic integration. Aims and Objectives of SARC The primary goal of SARC is to accelerate economic growth and social development in neighboring countries. This is done with the help of joint agreement on areas of cooperation among various countries. The SARC region lies in the South Himalayas that are surrounded by Hindu Kush mountains. The SARC region is a landmass of 3.3% of the world and has one-fifth of the population. The present SARC countries can be categorized into different groups as follows. There are three landlocked countries which are Bhutan, Nepal, and Afghanistan. There are two islands countries that are Sri Lanka and the Maldives. While the remaining members are India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. These countries have the Indian Ocean in the south and southwest, and the Indo-Gigantic Plains. SARC Economy SARC countries are the ones that mostly depend on agriculture. These are also the countries that have a lack of science, poor education and technology, and also suffer from overpopulation. Agriculture-based economy is likely to persist and dominate in years to come for the SARC countries. The economic development model revolves around the food for growing population, fodder for livestock, raw material and market for industries are likely to remain the main market goods. Most of the SARC countries depend on the developed countries for aid and trade. In this regard, the South Asian Free Trade Association, SAFTA came into operation by January 1, 2006. SAFTA aims to remove trade barriers, the establishment of a ministerial level mechanism for administering the treaty, phased elimination of tariffs and dispute settlement among SARC countries. The exchange of mutual goods among the SARC countries is more relevant, cheap and cost-effective. This provides vast scope for mutual cooperation in various areas. For years, Pakistan and India desperately tried to push each other into state of pariah. It is nobody's case that decades-old hostilities will cease overnight. Instead, it is that there is an opportunity to script a new beginning. In this, economic relations seem to be the most politically acceptable script to pursue. Whether the Sark dream will be a myth or reality will now more than ever depend on the political leadership in the region. Like the cliche goes, anything well begun is half done. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so, you don't miss out the next lecture. Stay blessed.